Hello everyone. My name is Taehyun Kim. I'm from Korea and uh, teaching foreigners Korean language now. Uh, today, uh, I want to say about uh, polysemy and homophone uh, of Korean language. Um, actually, uh, we have many uh, polysemy and this makes uh, for foreigners to learn Korean, Korean uh, very difficult. For example, uh, with one word, there are many uh, different meanings and it is very confusing. Uh, from time to time, we can distinguish these meanings uh, from uh, the lengthness and shortness of pronunciation. However, uh, every word doesn't always uh, have the kind of uh, Distinguish, dis distinguishness. So uh, basically, uh, because of this, Korean uh, very often uh, is very difficult to learn and to understand the meaning precisely. So today, uh, I want to explain this, uh, you guys, to you guys, uh, and also uh, I want to say about uh, homophone. Uh, of Korean as well. Um, which which mean uh, which means uh, pronunciation uh, of words are very same, but uh, the meanings of them is deeper uh, are different. In Korean, uh, we have many uh, those kinds of words, so. This uh, also makes uh, for foreigners to learn Korean uh, difficult. Okay, uh, then uh, let's get started. Uh, first, uh, I want to say about uh, polysemy. And let's get started, started uh, with known. Uh, for example, uh, we have this word, pam. Uh, in Korean and this means uh, chestnut and night in English uh, when this means uh, chestnut then you have to pronounce these words uh, longer like palm but uh, when this means uh, night you have to say this shorter like palm uh, actually uh, uh, with Korean we don't have any kind of accent but uh, from time to time we can distinguish the meanings uh, from um, lengths and shortness like the word palm uh, for example this word in Korean nun uh, these words uh, have different two meanings and the first snow and the other uh, I and when this means snow you have to say this longer like noon but uh, when this means uh, I you have this uh, pronoun shorter like noon uh, okay, then uh, let's see uh, another example. Mm. For example, we have known uh, pe. Uh, <laughs> with this word, there are many meanings. Uh, the first, uh, boat. And the second, um, belly. The body, belly, the part of body, belly, and the third, uh, pair. One of one of the fruits, pair. So uh, we have to distinguish the correct meaning, um, just in the context, because uh, pronunciation uh, is uh, all same, uh, but it has 
uh, various meanings. So we have to uh, understand the precise meaning uh, uh, in the context. Okay, then uh, this word in Korean, 다리. Uh, this means uh, bridge and leg. So uh, with this, you have to um, uh, understand the correct meaning just in the context. Okay, uh, okay, then uh, this time, then uh, let's see um, more words uh, with uh, Chinese character. Uh, in ancient times, we don't have uh, our alphabet, uh, uh, so called Hangul. So, before this, uh, we used the Chinese alphabet. Uh, which is named Hanja. So uh, even now we have many uh, words uh, with uh, Chinese uh, characters. Uh, when uh, we write these words uh, in Chinese alphabet, uh, they are different, but in Korean. Uh, they are same. So uh, very often uh, this makes us to understand the correct meaning uh, because uh, if we don't see a uh, Chinese character with these words then we can't uh, correctly distinguish the uh, precise meanings. So now uh, I want to say about this. Okay, then uh, this word 가장. Uh, this word has three different meanings. The first, household. And the second, make believe. And the third, most. So, just in the context, you, you have to uh, distinguish, the, distinguish the meanings. In Korean, they are uh, written all the same. Uh, for example, this word, 가정. This word uh, also uh, has different two meanings. The first, house or home. And the second, uh, assume. So, uh, it is written same in Korean. So, you have to uh, understand the meaning, correct meanings, uh, just in the context. Uh, for example, this word, 회화. This means picture and also conversation. In Korean, it is, it is written the uh, same, but uh, has different meanings. And for example, this word, 패자. Uh, this uh, word has a uh, very contradictory uh, meanings. The first, victor, and the second, loser. Hmm. It is uh, very contra uh, it is the uh, contradiction. Uh, so, uh, in Chinese character, uh, they are uh, written different, but uh, in Korean, same. So you have to uh, understand the correct meaning just in the context. Uh, okay, then uh, this time uh, with verb, let's see uh, more uh, the difference of meanings uh, of words. Uh, for example, this uh, this verb, tada uh, in Korean, and this means ride and burn. Mm. It is just written or same, but uh, uh, has different meanings. So uh, again, you have to uh, uh, understand the correct meaning uh, just in the context. Uh, this verb, 묻다. Uh, first, this means ask. And also, uh, this means bury. 
uh, for example, this word, uh, 지다. The first, this means lose. But the other meaning of this, uh, set, like sunset. Uh, for example, this verb, 달다. Uh, when it uh, is a verb, it means a way. Uh, but when it uh, works like uh, when it works as uh, adaptive, it means sweet. Mm. So uh, it is written same in Korean. Uh, they are written uh, same in Korean. So you have to uh, precise meaning. Uh, you have to understand the precise meaning just in the context. Okay, uh, today, uh, briefly, uh, I uh, explained the um, polysemy of Korean and, and with the examples of known and uh, words with Chinese character and verb, adjective, and so on. Okay, then, uh, next time, uh, I will come back with uh, homophon of Korean uh, like polysemy uh, this also uh, make uh, uh, it difficult to uh, understand correct meaning of a Korean language Korean words so next time I'll, I will explain uh, about this homophon okay then uh, have a good day and good luck see you